Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 9 Let's Play where last time I upgraded the lab and of course you can see the spell factory and the dark spell factory and I think the clan castle and then of course that fifth builder I've been using to upgrade the new stuff like the new collector mine, the new storages, etc. Basically getting the shortest upgrades done first. But today is Clash of Clans Mythbusters. The myth being if you upgrade the laboratory while an upgrade is happening like a project like you're upgrading like for instance it, for us it was the earthquake spell um if you have the earthquake spell upgrading and then you start the laboratory upgrade that earthquake spell upgrade will pause the um the myth is based upon the glitch or the error that happens after that laboratory upgrade finishes and i'm about to show you guys the process in which uh you can negate that error basically it shows that none of that time had passed, but all you have to do is close out your app, open it back up, and boom, the laboratory is uh, the laboratory project is done. And what's cool about that is that it disproves the myth. So here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Earthquake spell is still there. It shows 17 minutes. If we double click, because I've got an iPad, okay, double click the home screen, or if you uh, 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 scroll up from the top or from the bottom, I don't know, and you close the app. And then if you open the app back up, then you'll see that the uh, glitch is gone. All right, so check this out. Boom. And the earthquake spell is done. That's what I'm talking about. So there you go, guys. There, notice there were no cuts in the video. It proves that if you upgrade the lab while a project is taking place inside of it, it does not pause or stop that laboratory upgrade. All you have to do is close your game and reopen it no matter what. Uh, you know phone or tablet that you're using and there you go So there you go the laboratory is done. I've got a, a, a Actually, I've got a builder available and I've got max elixir So what we need to do now is we need to start our very first Lab upgrade as a town hall nine now that we've disproven the myth it is time to continue on with the let's play series So let's upgrade the barbarians first reason being because it's a cheaper upgrade. I've don't have unlimited loot, right? So I want to use a cheaper upgrade since I've got so many high priority upgrades to do today. Also, because I'm using Barch as an army composition, and I'll back up and show you. There's my archers on one side. There are my barbarians on the archers. I'm using Barch to accumulate loot, uh, mo mostly elixir, but also because my spell factory is upgrading. Excuse me. Why are you moving, son? Moving. There we go. Because my spell factory is, is upgrading, I can't use any spells, so Barch is the best choice for that. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to upgrade the barbarians first and, um, we're going to do it right now because my elixir storage is full and I want to go do some rating for the video. So let's do this guys. 4.5 million elixir, a four day upgrade in three, two, one, bam. And there you go, guys. All right. So the barbarians are upgrading. I certainly don't have enough loot to, uh, upgrade another one. So I'm going to save that book of fighting for later. And then the second big portion of this video is going to be. The best part about going to Town Hall 9, and that, my friends, will be the Archer Queen. Um, guys, I had the 40,000 Dark Elixir. I didn't have it in video one, but I didn't, I didn't really miss her uh, because I didn't need to do a whole lot of farming between the two episodes. So now it is time to get the Queen. How epic is this episode, right? Laboratory, Mythbusters, um, and now the Queen. This is an epic episode. So let's go ahead and upgrade, or not upgrade. Let's go ahead and what are we doing here? Are we buying? The queen's altar building the altar which is a zero second upgrade i don't know i don't know but let's do this guys let's get the queen right here right now in three two one bam and now i can just set her down right there and there you go guys there you flip and go oh that reminds me okay so this base design let me get rid of this trunk this base design is the same base design i used on my town hall 9 dark elixir time series like a year ago um i'll be sharing this base design's link in the description so if you're a tunnel nine you want this base design check it out follow the link it'll open up on your uh on your app and then you can place it into any of these that you wish so there we go we got the base we got the queen and i got rid of that stupid bush so now guys it is time to go get some loot i've got barch once again i've got hogs in the cc which is sort of useful i think you know i'm not gonna complain but mostly what you're looking for whenever you're using barch in case maybe it's new for you since I, I mean, if you watch my Town Hall 8 or 7 or 6 or 5 Let's Play, then you know that Barch for me is a major, major staple army. Because it's just super cheap on Elixir, and it's uh, it's great to use, especially, again, when you have no spells 
from your spell factory because it's upgrading. So the only patch for Barch is that you must, almost every single uh, base that you attack has to have basically a dead base. It has to have full collectors and mines, and it helps if it has um, like dead expos if you're attacking a Town Hall 9. No clan castle troops helps too, so it's a very weak strategy, but it's a very efficient strategy as long as you can find a base every uh, 20 minutes or 16 minutes or however long the army takes to cook or if you're boosted you're going to want to find an army every four or five minutes otherwise you're wasting time so that was a lot of information i just gave you guys so i'm going to find that perfect base now cut the video and i will see you guys here in just a moment yes guys oh my goodness all right i found it this is a dead base galore oh my goodness we're gonna wreck okay so check this out first of all you have to be very careful about bases like this okay because for some reason everybody seems to put the bomb tower on the outside and the bomb tower is death for your barch so you have to be very very careful uh but check this out collectors and mines are full the the little pink tank inside the collector is filling up the little uh box next to that little mine cart is also full of gold so you know those are full um the uh, dark collector drill that box on the top is full which means it is now full and then you can tell that the expo and the inferno are both out of ammunition because there's no purple um arrow or whatever on top of the expo and the inferno is clearly burnt out because it just it simply burnt out so this is a dead base and we are gonna have ourselves a little bit of fun all right first of all let's use the kang the kang <laughs> let's use the kang let's use the king to do the tanking for the queen and boom the queen is down for the very first time on this account solomon oh baby Awesome, and ooh, looks like we may have just uncovered the Tesla farm, or at least one of the Teslas. I don't know. This is also a problem, is that the queen is level one. She has no royal cloak ability or anything, so she's not going to be able to survive. She's not going to be able to stand up against these point defenses for very long at all. But at least she will grab a little bit of the elixir. Oh, come on, she's so slow. Oh, good job, queen. You did good, though. You grabbed a lot of loot. That cannon's going to completely destroy her, though. Okay, so we got rid of the bomb tower out there. If you look around the, the outside ring, there really is no more issues as far as splash damage outside the walls. But inside the walls, here we have a wizard tower on the outside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw down my hog riders to where they will distract that wizard tower. And now, using four-finger deployment, here goes the barbarians and then the archers, guys. The first barch. The first, yeah, the first barch of our Town Hall 9 Let's Play. And basically what happens, guys, you put the, down the Barbarians first. In case, again, if you're not familiar with Barch, um, you put the Barbarians down first. They do the tanking for the Archers, and the Archers are the ones that do most of the loot grabbing, okay? So again, this is a weak strategy. You're not going to three-star bases with this, but you are going to grab a ton of loot. It's not going to take you very long to cook the army, and the army is super cheap. It doesn't cost a lot to cook the army. So it's, it's great for farming quickly, and it's great for the beginning stages of any town hall level in the game so it looks like we did miss out on a little bit of loot guys it looks like the little bit we missed out on is down here mostly all elixir and dark elixir we got 100 percent of the gold but there we go and we actually got a star like i'm used to losing attacks when i use bar so that is awesome we got over 500 thousand golden elixir that is a beautiful bar trade and a perfect example of what this strategy can do for you um, and then over a thousand dark elixir. I mean, you're not going to get a lot of dark elixir when you're using barge. Okay, just a warning. This is best for elixir and it's best for gold. You can do a decent job with dark elixir. And if you really want to continue using barge, but grab more dark elixir, throw in some giants and some wall breakers and break into the base more like a jai barge than, um, than simply just a barge. All right. And again, the CC hogs, they came in handy. I was able to snipe out and take out a splash damage on the outside, like a wizard tower. Notice like at the, um, if you look at the top left inside the screen, that wizard tower is right next to that elixir storage and or collector right there at the bottom. And I wasn't able to get that elixir because that wizard tower was there. So you have to watch out for splash damage whenever you're using arch. But still, the, the loot was amazing. I'm very, very satisfied. And I say we go straight out and um, grab another, grab another base. I mean, so this time I don't have a CC. I don't have my heroes, but I do have my barch. So this one's going to be just a straight up wrap the base and steal all the loot and that's what we are all about so again looking at the collectors and the mines and the drills seeing oh like for instance this is the worst thing you can attack right here look at that that little uh elixir collector you look at the tank in the middle the the tank is basically so empty there's no elixir in there that you get that pink ring 
in the middle looks like a, the letter O, okay? Like a donut, like a pink donut. If you see that pink donut, don't attack the base. There's no loot in there for you, okay? Good, glad we understand each other. And then there we go, okay. Not near as much loot as the first attack, but it is a Town Hall 8 this time, which means there's no way to really tell it's dead, except for if you look at the collectors and vines. There we go. See that middle tank is filling up with pink, and then that little box next to the uh, gold cart, and the mine cart, is also full of it, all right? And the ones that are right next to the Santa's presence. So this is another great barge base. So again, single uh, 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 four-finger deployment. I always do index fingers and thumbs. Again, I'm on a tablet. If you're on a phone, this is going to be really hard. Uh, but if you're on a tablet, it's not so hard. Put them all down, hold for just a second, and then let it go. And that, let me go ahead and poison that king, actually, because he's struggling. He's making my troops struggle a little bit. Barbarians first, archers down second. You want to do that as fast as possible to give yourself the best chance of A, getting 50% and getting a star, but B, and more importantly, getting the loot. You're not going to be gaining a lot of trophies if you're using Barch, uh, but you are definitely, as I've said before, you're going to be profiting a ton of elixir and it is awesome so there we go there's that 50 percent that we all wanted and there is also all the loot except for just a couple of dozen so that's awesome that's exactly what i wanted and if i was like boosting for whatever reason i'd probably already have an army ready to go and i would just do that over and over again and look at that 350,000 elixir right so let's look at something let's look at something right quick if i go to quick train it shows the army at the very top that i've already used previous army 45,000 elixir. So I profited 300,000 elixir in one raid. That's really great profit, guys. If I was using the Dragloon, then I would have only profited about 100 and 125,000 elixir. So double the profit. And Dragloon takes longer to cook than Barch. So there you go. That is the, the 20 reasons why I love Barch and why it is the very best for a brand new Town Hall 9. So let's look at something else, guys. It looks like, oh, the elixir storage. Wait, what's happening? Why is my progress base showing? Oh, the queen. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't cry, base, don't cry. And there we go. Okay, now I'm in my progress base. And today I might be able to move some more things across the line of walls. All right, first of all, in 33 seconds, this storage is going to be done. I'll have that builder available. And again, today the goal is to upgrade some high priority uh, buildings, um, offensive buildings, obviously, but then also I want to leave that fifth builder available so I can keep working on the new collector mine and storages and also the new defenses. I like, like for instance, I got this arch tower last time. It was level one. The first upgrade was like 15 minutes. So I went ahead and did that one. And then the next one was like 45 minutes. So I went ahead and did that one. This one I think is like three hours. So basically what I've been doing is whichever upgrade takes the least amount of time, I'm doing that one. And if I'm going to bed and I know I won't be awake for eight hours, I'll do an, a longer upgrade. Like, for instance, this um, air defense. It is now a 16-hour upgrade. That's a safe overnight upgrade. Or, ooh, a wizard tower. Eight hours. Perfect. So, you know, just trying to upgrade the new stuff with the fifth builder and keeping high-priority buildings going with the first four. So, ooh, I leveled up. Level 80. What happened? What did I do? Oh, the clan castle. All right. So, the clan castle is now done. Now I can request for... 30 troop capacity army CCs if I really want to. But there we go. So I've got three builders now available. The other two are working on the Dark Spell Factory, which is, this one's done tomorrow. And the other one is on the Spell Factory, and that one's done late tomorrow evening. What time is it right now? Right now it is 2. Wow. Okay, so late tomorrow evening into the next morning at 2 a.m. Okay? That is uh, when the spell, spe spell Factory is done. So, um, let me see. I've got I've got to have some sort of reward coming to me soon. Nope. Okay, fine. That's fine. I can wait. So, let's do some big-time upgrade priorities. First of all, let's talk about Dark Elixir. Um, can I upgrade the Queen? 22,500 Dark Elixir. Can I upgrade the Queen? I desperately want to upgrade her to level 5 as fast as possible for her Royal Cloak ability. It's amazing. If you guys have never used it, you're going to get addicted fast. All right, so get the Queen to level 5 as fast as you can. That's where my Dark Elixir will be going for now. What about the Elixir? I've got 2.6 million Elixir, and the highest priority building this on this uh, um, on the map right now is obviously the Laboratory, but it's busy. It's good. The, the Barbarians got this, all right? So what about for four days? I'm, I'm, I'm hung up in the Laboratory for four days. So what I can do is I can do an army camp, guys, permanently increasing my army size by five. It's only two and a quarter million elixir, a two-day upgrade, 
So worth it. We're going to do it right now. Let's go. 2.25 million elixir, a two-day upgrade in three, two, one, bam. All right, so let's move this baby across, and I have no idea where I want to put the army camp, so I'm just going to put it right here for now. Okay, army camp number one is done. Can I do a second army camp? I could. I technically could because I can go into my league shop, and I've got, I've actually got nearly enough metals to buy 10 different packs of loot. Two and a half million elixir or gold each. So I think it's worth it, honestly. I think it's worth it to buy one of these and get your camps going. But, okay, but since I've only got one builder right now, maybe I could, or I've got two, but I'm going to save one. So maybe I could just technically use gold in this builder and save my metals for later when I really, really need it. So what is the highest priority up goal upgrade I can do with gold? Looks like I could get one of the new x bows now that my friends would be amazing um i think it would be amazing yep we're gonna get the new x bow and i'm gonna have to save because i get two new x bows i'm gonna have to save until later so let's get this new x bow guys it's a two million gold upgrade don't worry we're gonna use the rest of the gold uh but the x bows do a great job defending your base yes they add a little bit of war weight if you don't know what i'm talking about for war weight basically what war weight is it's a measurement to figure out which rank you are in the war. The more war weight, the heavier you are, the higher up in the roster you're going to go. Um, people don't like to do that necessarily because then it gives you a matchup against a stronger opponent. But in my opinion, the weight of the expo is worth its value. That's just the simple truth. That's the simple fact. And at Town Hall 9, war weight no longer makes a difference, in my opinion. And a lot of other war people's opinions too. So, guys, let's get this expo. One of two. We'll get the second one some other time. Let's do this in three, two, one. Bam. And three days from now. So, there we go. And then finally, guys, I'm going to be spending a lot of my gold on my walls. This is 25,000 gold. Um, and I'm going to see how many levels I can go before it gets ridiculous. Sorry. So, 25,000. There you go. 125,000. I can handle that. 250,000. I can handle that. 625,000. I can handle that awesome and i i can't i can't go to level six that's 1.25 million gold i don't have enough for that so there we go a little bit of wall progress got some high priority buildings going down we got the queen we got the laboratory we proved the myth wrong and we got the expo that is awesome so today has been an absolute success we got to do one more thing actually hold on we need to upgrade i believe it's a storage yep two hours that's i think the shortest upgrade that i have access to right now that one's four that one will also be four this one will be three okay so two still the shortest and then i have it lined up according to time so there are towers three also so the shortest time upgrade right now is this gold storage i'm going to go ahead and upgrade it um and I'm, i basically just set a timer on my phone and i say hey i've got two hours until i need to use the fifth builder on something else at least until these things get caught up to the max ones at town hall eight so let's do this guy 6,000 elixir two hour upgrade in three two one bam nice all right and guys I believe now that is all that I have for you guys today except for one problem oh no I have to put the expo somewhere uh where in the world was the expo before I'm, I'm now I'm not sure because I don't think the heroes were in the middle were they huh you know what? I'm going to adjust this manually. I'll make an open hole for the other one. Because remember, there's two X bills. We only have one. And I told you the guys that I was going to share this base link in the description. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the whatever needs to be moved, put the X bills where they need to go, leave a space for the second X bow so that you guys can fill in your second X bow. Because that, that second X bow is the only building that I haven't plugged in yet. All right. It's the only thing I haven't gotten yet. So I'll figure this all out off camera because i'm not sure where to put it and um you guys will be able to see that it'll be reflectant in the link if you choose to use it so we'll go back to the progress base for now right yeah awesome all right guys that's gonna have to do it for me today in this second episode of a town hall 9 let's play let me know that you loved it by hitting that like button also let me know that you love it by hitting that subscribe button join the klaus family for daily Clash of Clans videos and be looking forward to the next episode where we have a lot to do. I mean, you're talking about 29 more Archer Queen.
between upgrades to get to level 30, the max for Tunnel Nine, And then, of course, we still have um, 20 more King upgrades to get to level 30 as well. So we got like 50 levels to go. We got lots to do. It's going to be an amazing series, and I cannot wait to get it done for you guys. Remember, guys, that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.